Social media has been buzzing all day with notifications about the big matchups that are set for tonight. I cannot wait for this event. Now, guys, I'm not sure what it is, but there's something in the air. It feels like it might be one of those nights that changes everything the here in WWE. Backstage, Corey, has been growing with every... We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date. Taking on some tough competition. This is going to be amazing. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. Just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches, and this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. What a stop! Good grief! Oh, what impact! the back of the neck. Continuing to punish them. It's a tough spot to find yourself in, that's for sure. But if anybody could break free from this, it's this superstar right here. Inflicted. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. He came into this match expecting a oh. fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, Ouch. especially considering who he's in the ring with. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Back when the Undisputed Era came to NXT, they gave Roderick Strong a chance to team with them. It took a long time for Strong to make the decision the Undisputed Era wanted, but when he did, it was a shock to the system. No, he reverses it. Oh my goodness, this hurts! Oh! He looks a bit off his game here. Michael bringing up Roger Strong's shocking decision to join the Undisputed Era. Reminds me of how I used to think Roger Strong had the biggest heart. The shoulders are down. And a kick at much to nobody's surprise. Roddy won't allow this match to end. He's too determined. On the shoulders here. And it could be a long way down from there. Right, that was a long way down. Kick out in this unusual matchup. Yeah, he's not done yet. Oh, nasty impact. Too quick for him there. Ah, oh, nice belly to back. That could be a game changer. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Look out, look out, this could be it! Yes, 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 yes. Believe him more permanently. He's back in control here. Man, I wonder if Strong can survive this. Oh, that might have just broken something. Focus attack on the back. Harsh in shoulders on the back. Digging deep for a kick out. Yeah, it's going to take more than that to keep him down. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Only the back suplex coming. No, only the back face buster. That might be enough. That just echoed through. Here's a cover. Not enough to end this one. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down.
Smart maneuver. Talk about taking care of business. Bodies are not supposed to bend that way. What a way to win a singles match. This superstar picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. Yeah, but I don't think his opponent is happy about losing here. I mean, he's got to be humiliated and embarrassed. He thought he was going to win this match. Oh, well, I kind of did too. When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. We have a team led by one of the best talents on the roster to date. I cannot wait. Set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Guys, the tag team scene in WWE right now is so impressive. And these two tandems are a lot of the reason why. The collar and elbow tie up in a battle for control here. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with a finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Corey, a few moments ago, he took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, you're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who've dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Years ago, Luke Gallows was a WWE superstar under a different name, but the fearsome giant was at a crossroads and looked at who he really was. Gallo soon found himself in Japan dominating opponents in matches across the country. Now that Luke Gallows is back in WWE, no superstar is safe. He's looking at it. There's no way he's giving up now. 
I remember when Luke got and he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, vicious strike. Now we see Carl Anderson starting to slow down a bit. He's gonna need to find a way to fire back. It's no secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. Yeah, but if you count them out now, guys, you are making a very big mistake. Mark my words. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oof. He's on the defensive here. He looks to be a little surprised right now. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. This might be it! Oh, my! Luke Gallon starting to stall a bit here. Oh. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it Man. to a minimum. Ooh, what a jawbreaker! The tag is Carl Anderson. <laughs> Carl Anderson with a nice reversal. in with the tag. of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. It's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. the point that people have been talking about for years and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express a strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on a... Well, it's not going to be pretty! A uh, knee right to the face! That knee is a lethal weapon. This could be the turning point. The night could be over for Carl Anderson. Point of the elbow, nailed it. Look at Luke Gallows doing that to get the ball rolling again. He can't be happy with how this is going right now. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. Gets the tag. Look out, he's almost there. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Drew McIntyre gets out of the way. We've got a cover. No, only kick out. And the match continues. He's making a statement here with this attack. And there is the reversal from Luke Gallows. I say Drew McIntyre's career is a story of two completely different chapters. McIntyre himself would tell you his first chapter didn't quite go as planned, but boy, chapter two is a whole nother story. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Vicious knee. All respect given. It looks like Luke Gallows could be done for. Unless this thing turns around here, this tag team act is all but over. 
Michael, I like your analogy of McIntyre. Here it comes. Looking for choke slam. And to think, look at this. This could do it. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's upset about something, guys. When isn't he upset about something? I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Oh, man. Oh, I haven't seen this in a long time. The only thing can't walk after that attack to the back. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Not today. An incredible combination. or else this thing's over. Beautiful. This is his opportunity. The cover. One. Two. And he got a near fall out of it. Might have slipped there, Cole. Oh, the reversal by Carl Anderson. <laughs> and it's obvious that Carl Anderson's having a good time in there. Looking downright dominant right now. There's the tag. Just a little showboat, Carl Anderson.
Well, it's not going to be pretty. Brutal knee right to the face. But can he... He may get the three count right there. Three. What an incredible tag team contest. We got our money's worth with that one. Take a look. He's getting it done here. He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. Here are your winners, CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. That's a big win, although there was a moment there where I thought it was going to go the other way. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. And we're now underway with this huge tag team match. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Wow, oh, incredible height. Beautiful technique. You know, even before Matt Hardy became Woken, he could still be a bit strange. Need I remind you guys of when he used to call himself version one? So you really need to be more tech savvy. Matt Hardy version one was an excellent reboot. He'd come to the ring every week with Matt facts that would both delight and inform the WWE Universe. What a stop! Good grief! Corey brought up Matt Hardy version 1's old Matt Facts, and I just dusted off an old website to read them. Let me get this straight. Uh, Matt strongly dislikes mustard? Uh, Matt is a great juggler? What are these? Uh, Byron, here, you missed this one. Matt is annoyed by stupid questions. If you can't recognize the wisdom behind these Matt Facts, I feel sorry for you. Just trying to figure them out. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the Finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team 
to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. Necessary, considering he has a very capable partner he can tag in here. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. Oh, right to the body, that hurts. He's in a little bit of trouble now. This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. This is not the time to be a hero. To keep this match from slipping away, he needs to get his partner in there and take a break. But if you're counting him out now, you haven't been paying attention. He has more resolve than just about anybody on the roster. He has him right where he wants him. He'd be smart to stay put there. Incoming. Oh boy, he is real. And now it's Jeff Hardy getting pushed to the limit. This is not where he wants to be right now. Really. He needs a breather in a bad way right now. If he could just make it to his corner and make the tag. Yeah, he's clearly not on the right side of this match right now, which is a little surprising to me. to the arm being inflicted here. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is to create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Jeff Hardy was able to get out of the way there. Damn it. He's going for it all. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves. And Jeff Hardy is in position. One, two, one, bomb! There, will this be enough? the count. Oh, I packed the slam. Elbow drop, big time. Looking at it here. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure how much he has left. How much more? And Jeff Hardy's intentions are very clear now. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Big time takedown right there. This might just be it for him, Michael. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. <laughs> oh, man! Not the oh, my goodness, crushing it! Controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. This might be it. Oh my. He's making a statement here with this attack. I wish I could tell you guys what this superstar thinks of this week's power rankings, but when I asked, the only thing I got was a no comment. School figure four leg lock. 
but can he follow up here? Right there. Wow, what a gritty performance. Uh oh, he's in trouble here. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. He might have it. Look at this. Ooh. Warm up the bus. Here's the cover. One. Two. Oh, I can't believe he had the energy to kick out of that. Oh, it looks like the Daredevil wants to take a few more spills. Why not? Oh, boy, he is rolling. Going for the big one. Oh. This is his opportunity to win this thing. Has Jeff Hardy produced an end result? Oh, and he reverses it. Here he goes. Oh, continuing to punish them. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. He breaks it. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm with you, Cole. So unbelievable that he broke out of that. Too quick for him now. Jeff Hardy was able to get out of the way there. In off the tag. point on a match. He somehow breaks free. Nice, but he clearly has next to nothing left to give here. Oh no. This is about as close as it gets. Beautiful side Russian leg sweep.
Lightning fast reflexes. Boom, what impact. Oh, man. Harsh impact. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. Oh, nasty impact. What a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put themselves through. The intensity of this has been incredible. Both sides look to be struggling here. Inching closer to him. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Oh, oh, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. And Jeff Hardy heads up the turnbuckle. Jeff Hardy's going for it. One time bomb. This and he goes for the pin. Team display. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. Yeah, he's putting in the work. Here are your winners, Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy. Big win here to start the show. Hey, this isn't just about going out there and making sure everybody's entertained. You've got to win your matches. And that's exactly what happened here. A will to win was on display. Thank you for tuning in tonight, folks. We hope you enjoyed that great match. This should be an incredible oh, matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. The only thing that would make this match more enjoyable to watch would be if I was oh. calling it without you two bozos interrupting me. I asked Shinsuke Nakamura, what exactly does King Strong Style mean? And he just said, hitting people hard. Well, you're an idiot, Saxton, and you suck at journalism. You could watch Shinsuke in the ring and figure that out on yourself. Soon. Boom! Ho, ho, ho. 
Shinsuke Nakamura called himself the artist, and it's great to see one. From his theatrical entrance to his unorthodox movement in the ring, almost everything about Nakamura could be put in a museum. Well, except for his cheap shot and low blows. Shinsuke Nakamura just too fast for him. It's like trying to fight smoke. Going back to the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura. We've also seen many a masterpiece in the ring from Nakamura during his time in NXT and on SmackDown Live. Unfortunately, he's tarnished that reputation by resorting to cheap tactics nowadays. Look, he's still an artist in my eyes and an American hero. He also has the best entrance wardrobe in WWE. That actually means something, coming from the most well-dressed guy at ringside. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. Harsh impact. <laughs> oh, man. Bringing it back into the ring. Oh, man, that hurt the back. Spine rattling. He's stumbling some now. And at this point, how much more does he have to give? The King of Strong Style with a massive slam. Shinsuke Nakamura. No doubt about that one. Quick cover from Shinsuke Nakamura. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh boy, he is rolling. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. This might be it. Oh, my. Here he goes. What impact. Is it enough to end this match? Look at this. He's got some fight left in him. That's all right, Cole. Ooh! He might have it. Beautiful technique. I'm not sure how much he has left. He's on a rampage now. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Looking for the win. Drop it with precision. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. This could do it. All too easy for Shinsuke Nakamura to escape. Wow. transpired thus far. It's been so physical. so far guys but it looks to me like we're possibly nearing the end here he's looking at it Boom, attack. just when you thought he had nothing left here he goes oh, that's the impact i think this is the beginning of the end michael a kick out and you can see the frustration start you gotta believe this one's over 
Can he finish the job? Like a rising sun, Shinsuke somehow got the shoulder up. His shoulders are down. One, two, three. Yes, unreal performance. Let's take another look at what made that matchup so memorable. Almost forgot about this one. Here is your winner, the superstar. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. What a way to kick off the night. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. The only thing that would make this match more enjoyable to watch would be if I was Man. calling it without you two bozos interrupting me. And I can't help but wonder how the champ's game plan differs, if at all, knowing that the title is not on the line here tonight. Nothing to worry about. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point, but that can obviously all change here. Oh, oh man! Shoulders on the back. Not much behind that pin attempt. Remarkable. Oh, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. 
Things not looking good for Hideo Itami. He needs to create some space and find a way to get back on the offensive. And Hideo Itami reverses it. And I'm like, DDT! Spike them. He wants no part of the outside. He's got him covered. That's not gonna do it. That's too early for that. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Nailed it. He's making a statement here with this attack. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. Super kick! Ouch! I knew it was only a matter of time. Uh-oh, double underhook. This is gonna be nasty. Butterfly pile driver! Now he's gotta capitalize. The shoulders are down. He's got some fight left in him. Might have slipped there, Cole. He might, this might be it! Oh my! I'm not, you gotta believe this one's over! But it, now, there is no way a Tommy comes back from that. Shoulders down, is it enough? Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. I'm impressed. We've seen harsh impact. There is no way a Tommy comes back from that. He's looking at it. Technique. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. He's still in this. This has been a battle. It's nightmare takedown. Deo Tommy has got him up. Go to sleep. That's what he was looking for, Michael. His shoulders are down. One, two, three. The pinfall and the victory. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. This was another great moment. And this is how he ended it. Here is your winner, Hideo. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action.
caught. The Cesaro section is out in full force with a Swiss cyborg tonight. Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches, and this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. Cesaro has to be considered one of the pound-for-pound pound strongest competitors in WWE. And speaking of pound, he's got the strongest uppercuts ever seen in a WWE ring. He's going for the pin. Remarkable. Ooh, what an up. And there's the speed paying off. <laughs> what? He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Oh, man. You seem more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Ooh, what impact. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Just how much strength is carrying your opponent around like this take? Let's put it this way, Cole. Saxton would never be able to do it. Three. And the Cesaro section can't be far behind. Four. No, he reverses it. He's on the defensive now. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. Nothing good happens outside the ring, which is why I love it when guys go out there. Things are going to heat up now, fellas. In a back-and-forth match like this, he has to do everything in his power not to let his opponent gain too much momentum here. Oh, what a slam. Can he finish the job? Cesaro is letting his opponent know how they do it on the continent. What a stomp! Good grief! Oh my gosh! What an uppercut! Now that's how you make a statement. There's almost no... He's got the shoulders down. Things are starting to heat up out here. What could they possibly be arguing over? And the slam! Cesaro staggering some here. And at this point, you have to wonder if he can recover from this. He's really starting to look fatigued here, guys. And when that happens, your whole body starts to give out on you. He's going to need to be careful here. This is one of the more evenly matched contests we've seen in quite some time. From the looks of things, it could really go either way. Harper, big move coming! Here we go, a second. Looking for the sharpshooter, and he's sitting out. Cesaro going to get him to tap out, baby. I'm not sure how much he has left. And here's a cover. Barely at two and a half. How'd he do that?
despite having an impressive spot in this week's power rankings, I'm told this superstar isn't all concerned with things like that. Got the uh -oh. oh my goodness, crushing it! Oh, the old European uppercut! Hits him with a gut wrench suplex! What impact! There's been a lot of talk about this superstar's latest spot in the power rankings, but if you ask me, those things are overblown. Now back to the ring. Harper, big move. Discus Larian. That was nasty. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. To me, seems perfectly logical. We got a cover. One, two, gets the shoulder up. Wow, what's it going to take? I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. That suplex. Oh no! Slam with authority. Can he finish him off here? Bold move going for it again. He's still in this. Boy, this has just been pandemonium. Harper, big move coming. Oh, chip breaking uppercut. No telling where or when this will end. What a strike. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Harper's chances just went from bad to worse. Going for the cover. Wait a minute. Suplex. He's not going to like this. And there it is, boys. Cesaro may have just ended this one, fellas. Boy, I think you're right. Ooh, what an up. Hey. Big move coming. Oh, I'll lose that one. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. And one more time. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. The air just came out of the Cesaro section with that one. Two, three, yes, takes it. The superstar picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. Yeah, but I don't think his opponent is happy about losing here. I mean, He's got to be humiliated and embarrassed. He thought he was going to win this match. Well, I kind of did too.
You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Johnny Wrestling Ouch. is hoping to show his opposition just how he earned that nickname. Oh, well, Byron, you see, some people named John use Johnny instead. Oh, you meant the wrestling part. Uh-oh. German suplex spiked. Beautiful technique. Jay Styles setting up. Is he done? Oh, he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. Look at this. He's starting to feel it here. He may have to start reevaluating his. There's a pin now. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Well, that's another example of Johnny Gargano always having his opponent well scouted. This is all about. I think we're about to find out, Cole. <laughs> Hooked up and pulling a back suplex. <laughs> Got the shoulders down. Not much behind that pin attempt. Too soon. To the outside, which will start the referee's count. I think AJ Styles is done playing. Here we go. Oh, incredible agility. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. It'll be hard for Gargano to come back now. Cover here. Sit back, people. This one's not over yet. Well, that's another example of Johnny Gargano always having his opponent well scouted. AJ Styles is looking to fly. Look out! <laughs> Looks like he's starting to tire. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. I'd never count this guy out, Ouch. but I'll tell you what. He's not looking so hot right now. He's really going to need to find a way to get back in this thing. You know, I thought this match was going to be much more tightly contested. I guess that's not the case, though. He goes for the cover. Yeah, I don't believe that, that, that he didn't win this match right there. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. Alludes that one. What's this? Oh. Garcano's looking to end it. Could be something here. This is what makes him want. No question, he's feeling invincible right now. Boom, what impact. I'm not sure how much he has left. Oh, man, AJ Styles is in trouble. Gargano setting him up. Oh, long dart to the turnbuckle. But he's got to capitalize now. This may very well be it. And a kick out. Much to nobody's surprised. Tried for it early. Got the head scissors on. That's how you wear down your opponent. Harsh impact. What a stop. Good grief. Uh-oh. Suplex. Going for... Oh, nasty impact. I knew it was only a matter of time. Cross face applied. He might have just ended this. Oh man, AJ Styles is in trouble. What a strike. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Got the leg. Oh, Dragon Whip connects. And now that one's countered. Wow, that was impressive, Michael. Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. Boom! 
<laughs> when this guy's on, look out. Now, Gargano locking it up. Down. He might just win. Can he do it here? There's the pinfall and the victory. That match deserves another look, folks. He's getting after it here. And here's the last piece of the puzzle. Here is your winner, Johnny Gargano. And that's a win to start off the night. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks.